All right, so let's get the BPM AccuSet installed onto the Dracos. We're going to discuss the uh, gas system that uh, comes with the Dracos 65 Grendel. Uh, the gas block we showed in the install intro video it essentially slides into this section of the barrel. There's three set screws that go into those lower holes there, and then the gas port for the barrel is in the upper left. And that is the only uh, port coming out of the barrel. Uh, it goes into a gas block. That gas block has a front section that is threaded and it has an allen head screw and that's the dwell time adjustment screw there to the right so it inserts here in the front I don't need that. Uh, we have the gas tube roll pin is used to secure the straight rifle length gas tube to the gas block it's a closed ended gas tube meaning it does not interface at all with the um, void that the allen head takes up in the front end of that gas block so they are separate chambers. Of course you got the three set screws there and that is the stock gas system from Dracos. Now all this comes assembled from Dracos you don't have to um, put the roll pin in the gas tube. I've taken it all apart so that I can better understand uh, what it is I'm working with uh, because what I'm going to try is adding an inline gas valve uh, had some work done by Barnes Precision Machine and we'll get to that here next uh, but I'm going to try to uh, regulate the gas uh, in addition to having dwell time adjustment so let's get into that real quickly here I wanted to add and the gas block itself. It's uh, too difficult to get the video camera to focus in down the front section of the gas block. But essentially that Allen head goes through the front. What I have this toothpick doing is just showing you this top hole here, which is where the gas tube itself, as I mentioned, is closed on the end. Okay, so you have the gas port hole in the gas tube, you have the pin where the roll pin goes, and there is no gas interface uh, with the gas block. It's a non-adjustable setup. So that section of the gas tube pretty much stops right here. Okay, now this is all threaded in the front section here because the Allen head will start here and it will go down. But basically what you're not able to see is this hole here. Let me try bumping. A little bit there you can tell on the bottom is the orifice for the dwell time. And so if I use this wooden dowel and I insert it into the orifice for the dwell time it does not go all the way through the gas block but you can see it through the gas port hole. Okay, again, this interfaces with the barrel gas port directly, but before the gas enters the gas tube, there's a dwell time hole here where I guess this acts as a expansion chamber, if you will, with that Allen head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with that Allen screw all the way in, basically not giving it any expansion uh, area and I will tune the gas system with the adjustable gas tube valve and once I get three o'clock four o'clock ejection I wanted to uh, install an adjustable gas system of some sort while I was testing and evaluating the Dracos system it's not currently an offering uh, directly from Dracos, they do uh, offer a adjustable system at the gas carrier or gas key. 
I uh, haven't had great luck with those in the past with other companies uh, not related to Dracos, but just standalone uh, adjustable gas bolt carriers. So instead, uh, just through happenstance, I found Barnes Precision Machines website, and they have a BPM AccuSet is the model number, and then I added a PRI uh, 05 SGT RL. That's the gas tube. So that's the silver stainless rifle length gas tube. It's the same length as the Dracos uh, gas tube, which is the black one. So we've got no fitment problems uh, with the PRI. And then the valve itself is installed at Barnes Precision Machine. I cannot tell you, nor will I try to speculate or guess what actually goes into this valve, what valve it is, can you do it yourself, all that stuff. I leave that to the experts. Uh, it has some sort of captive uh, retention device and it also has an Allen head on the bottom. It's all machined nicely. Uh, in terms of clearance, we shouldn't have any problem on the underside, being that this is a straight gas tube system. Uh, it doesn't need to start low towards the gas block and then rise up to go into the upper receiver. It's the same height all the way. So I've uh, done some hand fitting and it will uh, line up nicely. Now we will have some issue with the hand guard. So let me see if I can get the hand guard over here. Essentially this hand guard, like many, uh, has a continuous rail along the top and I believe when we had it installed it went past the gas block uh, nearly covering the Dracos logo uh, so it's a little bit long so what I'm gonna have to do uh, Barnes discussed this with me he said they sell hand guards um, that have the basically the relief already cut or milled into their hand guard so you can adjust through the top and you don't have to get uh, radical with a Dremel or a uh, cutting wheel or anything of that nature on your own, uh, they'll set you up. All right, we're out here at the range with the chatty patties behind me, and uh, we're gonna do a Dracos gas tube, adjustable gas tube test today. I have a uh, Allen head wrench sticking out of the Allen head screw of the adjustment in the gas tube. That's an 18 inch uh, Dracos barrel, 6.5 Grendel. I'll uh, tune it first without a suppressor, see what's optimal, and then and then add a suppressor and uh, see what changes need to be made from there. The uh, thought here is to uh, shoot it first all the way closed, see what action it has on the VCG, and then open it all the way, see where the uh, brass ejects, and then uh, make adjustments from there.
like your bolt system. Yeah. Uh, the, the only problem I've ever had was I had a firing pin that the very tip of it, it snapped. Come here. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, me too, yeah. 